So here's the rule of 78s, uh, and it's this formula right here, and u is the unearned interest, so that's what we're going to be looking for. F is the original finance charge, so if you paid out the entire loan in its entirety, how much interest did you pay? K is the number of payments remaining, and it's important not to include the current payment where you want to pay everything off. So how many payments after that would you still have? And then N is the original number of payments. So in this example, it says Tina has a 48-month loan with a fixed monthly payment of $193.75. Now the amount borrowed was $75. And instead of making her 18th payment, Tina is paying the remaining balance on the loan. Okay? So for whatever reason, she's able to pay it all off on the 18th payment. So the first question is, how much interest will Tina save computed by the rule of 78s? So some things that we need to find here. Okay, One would be F, or the original finance charge. And so our finance charge is going to be the total amount she pays minus how much she borrowed. So we know we have 48 months of $193.75 each. So this is how much she pays, principal and interest, and then we're going to subtract the principal here of $7,500. And so that's going to leave us with a finance charge of, let's calculate it out, 48 times 193.75 minus 7500 and so we have $1800 is our finance charge. Okay, a couple other things we're going to need are K, the number of payments remaining. So there were 48 total months and instead of making the 18th payment, she wants to pay it off. So we're just going to do 48 minus the 18. And that's going to give me 30. So notice that doesn't include the 18th payment because we're getting rid of it here by subtracting 18. Now we also need to find n, or the number of original payments, and so n is 48. Okay, so when you're computing unearned interest with rule of 78s, so you need to find f, k, and n. And so let's go ahead and apply the rule now. So unearned interest equals F of 1800 times K, which is 30, times K plus 1. And we'll just write 31. And then this is going to be divided by N, which was 48, times N plus 1, which is 49. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply and divide here. So we got 1800 times 30 times 31. We'll go ahead and hit enter. And then we're going to divide that by 48 times 49. Okay, and notice I use parentheses here in the denominator. So that keeps the entire 48 times 49 in the denominator. And we'll hit equals, and we get $711.73. Okay, so now we know how much interest she saves by paying it off early. So next we want to find what is the total amount due on that day. Well, what we want to find is the number of remaining payments and the amount of those remaining payments. So what would be left here would be 30 payments of $193.75. Okay, so let's go ahead and find that.
Okay. So we would have $5,812.50 left. And next we're going to subtract the unearned interest. Okay, so this is how much she would have to pay if she continued, but we know she's saving $711.73. Okay, so let's go ahead and subtract that. So minus 711.73. And so she has $5,100.77 left. Now, there's one more thing that remains, is the 18th payment. Okay, so... We knew we had this much remaining, we saved this much interest, so we have this much, but we also have to add her last payment, the 18th payment of 193.75. Let's go ahead and add that in there. Okay. So we get 5,000. Two hundred ninety four dollars and fifty two cents. Okay, so the total amount due there. Okay, now some of you might be asking, well, why don't we just multiply by thirty one here at the beginning? The answer is you could, and then you wouldn't add on that payment here at the end, you would add the eighteenth payment here. So I just wanted to show you how we use that number 30 because we say we have 30 remaining payments, but notice that 30 doesn't include the 18th, and so we have to add that at the end. Here is our total amount. All right, I want you to try number two on your own. Go ahead and pause the video and come on back when you're done to check your work. All right, welcome back. Go ahead and check your work. Did you find K, N, and F? Okay, and then plug them into the rule of 78. So your unearned interest should be $24.64. Then uh, to find the total amount due on that day, find your remaining payments. Okay, subtract your unearned interest, and then add in that last payment. And you should have found there $918.33 was due on that day. All right, so that is finding unearned interest and paying off a loan using the rule of 78.